this evening. But before we get to Alvarez versus Rhodes, we have a 10-round affair in the 130-pound division as Adrian Broner faces off with Jason Litzow. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the colors of Mexico and the United States, he weighed it officially 129 and 3 quarter pounds. Su record excelente con 28 victorias, 21 victorias por knockout y solamente dos derrotas. His professional record stands 28 victories, including 21 wins coming by way of knockout and just two defeats. Clasificado número 4 por CMB. He is the number four rated super featherweight by the WBC from St. Paul, Minnesota, USA. Here is Jason, the American boy, Lenza. Con los pantalones rojo con dorado y un peso de 58 kilos 300 gramos. His opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wears red, trimmed in gold, and weighted officially 128 and one half pounds. Su record perfecto con 20 victorias. Desi says por no gout. He is perfect in the ring. 20 victories, no defeats, 16 wins coming by way of knockout. Clasificado número 8 por CMB. Rated number 8 by the WBC. De Cincinnati, Ohio, USA, El Invicto. The undefeated Adrian, the problem brother. Okay, gentlemen, we spoke early in the dressing room. I expect you to obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Anything below here is low. Anything below here is low. Touch him up, fellas. Good luck. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Underway round number one. Hot and humid in Guadalajara. We expect red hot action. But, you know, both these guys must be saying, I'd love a first round knock if they get out of this heat because it is brutally hot here, folks. Litzau coming off that defining win against Caballero back in November. Really points to the birth of his third daughter, Olivia, a year and a half ago. Came from a very, very difficult upbringing. His parents were in trouble. Lived in foster homes, lived with different relatives. Came up the hard way. Panhandling at the Mall of America in Minnesota. Nice, but, nice right hand to the body, Bob, and Jason Litzow. But was able to stay on the straight path. Turn pro in 2002, was locked 145 rounds. But as he said, for about five years, all I did between fights was party. I looked at myself one day and said, how can a professional athlete do this in between performances? And he said when his daughter Olivia was born a year and a half ago, the light went on. And he said, all I want to do is provide for my three daughters, be a good father, make as much money as I can, and I'm going to be a pro. And his last two fights have been defining wins against Rocky Juarez and Caballero. He says he's at the best he's ever been. Yeah, he started oh, slow in the Caballero fight, Bob. And once again, Jason Litzow is starting slow. Not doing much in the first round. Broner's not doing all that much, but at least he's jamming, getting off first. Well, we asked Broner, you know, how he was going to deal with the height advantage of Litzow. He kind of chuckled a little bit. He said, look, I'm in the gym. I spar with middleweights. Height's not going to be a factor. We'll see if that plays out in an actual fight that counts. As Broner gets on his horse in this short ring, and moves away from Litzow. Broner's the typical counter puncher. He waits for Litzow to lead, then he looks to no, punch. No, no punch. He no, did no, that against please, Daniel Ponce de Leon. We criticized him heavily, saying he was thinking the place out. You know, he just wasn't making a good fight. Once again, look at the counter punches. Waiting for Litzow to lead, then he wants a punch. Stop! No, stop! Guadalajara is at an altitude of roughly over 5,000 feet. Broner spent a lot of time in Colorado no, Springs getting ready for the altitude. Says it has been no problem here. Glancing blow, left caught Litzow. Broner misses with some wild shots as he caught Litzow's attention. There's no question he heard him. Mouthpiece is out. Good uppercut. Litzow's down. And it's over in round one.
Adrian Broner with a defining first round stoppage of Jason Litzow. Boy, I tell you, Bob, that, that was what you call a sensational knockout. Knockout of his career, and Litzow has now suffered three losses as a pro, all three by stoppage. Jose Hernandez got him in 06. Robert the Ghost Guerrero in 2000. Now, Adrian Broner. Harold, let's take a look at how it happened. Absolutely. That the the right straight there. right hand, it was the punch that really hurt him. After that, he just teed off on him. Litzow's hands wide apart, no defense whatsoever. Really doesn't know what he, where he is at this point. And Broner just jumped on him. Adrian Broner, a real good finisher. Look at the way he jumps on him. Well, Another Howard, good right hand. You know, you Another could, good left hook. Uppercut, left hook, right hand, and that's it. It's over. Good stoppage by Curtis Thresher, new referee from Colorado. You know, if he would, wouldn't have stopped it there, you want to get the doctor in to look at Litzow. He was badly hurt. Well, you know, that straight right hand hurt Litzow, and Broner just got a little wild here, and you're almost saying to yourself, just take a pause for a second and play something here because your guy's hurt. Then he sort of settled in and made the punches count, and Litzow was finished as Curtis Thrasher stepped in in round number one and stopped the fight. <laughs> Dos minutos cincuenta, ocho segundos de primer asalto. El referee para la pelea, para el ganador por nocaut técnico. The end comes two minutes, 58 seconds, round number one. Referee calls a halt to the bout for your winner by TKO victory. And new USNBC super featherweight champion, the still undefeated Adrian, the problem.